a Hamilton mom is pleading to get out of the Butler County Jail after she's been locked up for nearly two years. As WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco shows us, now social workers and attorneys are joining forces to help. This mom's case is connected to immigration, a traumatic history of human trafficking and domestic violence. A judge says she's free to go, but the Department of Homeland Security says no. These are the only pictures those who are fighting for Sarah Mendez Morales could find of her. She's been locked inside the Butler County Jail for nearly two years. And it's just really horrifying to know that she, she stood up against so much and then she was still punished in a, in a way that, that just goes beyond belief. The mom wrote Sarah Leibler from jail because Leibler is an advocate for Ohio Immigrant Visitation Group that helps those in Immigration Customs Enforcement custody communicate with loved ones. This is the first letter that she sent me. She felt like no one could hear her, that the things that she was saying didn't matter, that everyone had made up their minds about her and that um, there was no hope. Mendez Morales is 34 years old. She has two children ages 11 and 4. Court documents say she started working at the age of six on farms in Guatemala after suffering sex abuse and human trafficking. Her attorney, Kim Alabassi, says her client ended up in the United States in 2007 and in Ohio in 2013. Just trying to get her life together with her children, found out that her um, partner was abusing her oldest daughter. Supporters say the mom, suffering from cancer, reported the abuse to a doctor at her chemotherapy appointment in April 2019. Less than two weeks later, police arrested the mom for child endangerment. She had tried reporting him a few months earlier, and um, he broke her phone, he beat her up, and he locked her in a room for three days. Mendez Morales took a plea deal and finished her sentence in August 2020. Because she's an immigrant without a visa, ICE held her in jail, even after a judge said she could stay in Ohio because her life would be in danger if she returned to Guatemala. This is somebody who um, was victimized her entire life. I, I mean, it's a very long, horrific story. In emails with her attorney, ICE agents say they will keep her in the Butler County Jail because she was complicit in child abuse. Her attorney appealed that decision, and the mom has filed victims of trafficking paperwork that would provide a path to permanent residency. I'm waiting for a response from ICE. Advocates say Jobs and Family Services is working to give full custody of her children to foster parents. We have to understand that she was making decisions that many of us will never have to make in circumstances that many of us will never understand. I'm working with the Butler County Jail to try to set up a phone or in-person conversation with the mother. Reporting in Butler County, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.